Well, welcome back into the cottage garden here in Mid Norfolk in the UK. We're going to talk to you today and show you what we do to look after these globe artichoke plants over winter. Now, these we showed you earlier in the season when they were in full flower and fruit, and what's left here is the remnants that we've tidied away of those stalks. You can see just how woody and thick those are from the growth that these plants put up over the summer months. But what you'll see around them now that we've tidied all that dead growth away is this lush fresh green growth coming up and we're now in the middle of November here in the United Kingdom and we haven't really over the last few years had any degree of hard frosts or cold weather to knock these back yet. So what we've done just to keep these growing over winter rather than cutting all this fresh growth off which would knock these plants back and these are putting fresh nutrients and strength into the crowns of these plants you'll see this one's far less florid these are all different varieties of globe artichokes some large some small that we've collected over the years when we've seen them on sale and these plants now will continue to grow like this until they get knocked back by a hard frost. Now what you're looking to do is to protect the crown which is underground in these plants and to protect that from those frosts if we do get them we've put a wood chip mulch onto these plants. This is a well rotted wood chip and I would emphasize you cannot use fresh wood chip has to be stuff that's been composted and uh, matured for at least 12 months, ideally two years. And this stuff's coming out of our wood chip piles that have been sitting for two years. So we're pretty confident by the roots that have been running through this and plant growth that's occurring on top of the piles that it's safe to put down as a top mulch for protection against frost and as a weed suppressant over the winter months. Now on this plant you can see we've left the huge great big stalk that's coming away from that crown. You've got to be very careful when you're removing these stalks. Do not pull them because what you will do is tear the crown and allow damage and disease into them. You do need to cut them off and you see that we've done that at quite a, a high level. We'll retain these stalks, let them rot down and by doing so you will not introduce disease or damage into the crown that's sitting beneath the soil level. Now in more northern climates where it's colder weather and these growths will be completely frosted that is the trigger for you to put a higher thicker mulch on top of these crowns. In Norfolk these tend to continue growing all year round and we can leave these happily growing. They do get some in this position from many easterly winds because we've got this six foot brick wall on the eastern aspect to the southern aspect there's the old hay barn and they're pretty well protected down onto the southern side and northern sides again by walling and other plants so these will continue growing throughout the winter months and start shooting again in spring this young plant you can see is much smaller than the others the crown's going to be substantially less developed than the other plants in terms of feeding these we're going to do nothing at this time of year we don't want to really encourage too much in the way of this top growth because this is tended to frost damage and if it does become very damaged or soft and starts rotting we'll remove any of the outer leaves and increase the mulch slightly around the crown of the plants feed wise we won't start feeding these until we see the spring growth starting in around late february beginning of march and at that stage we will put a top dressing of of well rotted compost and if you want to some concentrated nitrogen based feed such as grow more or blood fish and bone if you're organic or an alternative the best thing for these that we find is just fresh garden compost that's well rotted out of the compost heaps at that time really gives them a boost and allows them to fruit beautifully the following season. So that's the care that we give to these glowed artichokes and hopefully they will reward you by giving you both a fantastic display of flower but some good crops of cut buds to use as cooked glowed artichoke in the summer months.